What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Be Green. You know Be Green, the show that makes, well, being green just a little bit easier. I'm your host, Greg Goldner, and we have a killer show for you today. We're going to check out a new Santa Monica vegan grocery store, and then we're going to head back to Casa de Goldner, and I've got some hazardous waste material laying around, and we're going to get rid of it the right way, the Santa Monica way, and then we're going to check in with my girl, Natalie, see what she's up to. But first off, Viva la Vegan! I'm here with my man Arlo, one of the owners of Viva La Vegan Grocery Store, Grocery Express, right here in Santa Monica. Arlo, thanks for having us. Uh, guys, we are here on the corner of Ocean Park and 28th, and what is Viva La Vegan besides a place with a really cool name? We're an all-vegan grocery store. Um, everything that we have here is plant-based, nothing comes from an animal, and in addition to that, nothing here is tested on animals. People can come here and they know that they they know that there's not animal ingredients in what we're what we're offering here. Um, whereas other any other store in California, you go into you you have a question. You don't know you don't necessarily know what that that little ingredient is in there. And uh, we've done that work for them. Tell me a little bit about the store. I mean, you guys have so much stuff. It's floor to ceiling vegan. Exactly, and one part, part of our objective is to overwhelm people, not only vegan people, but people that aren't vegan, to the possibility that they can, that they can eat this way. We strive to have everything that somebody's used to eating, it's just a different version of it. If somebody wants a Twinkie, we've got them. If you want calamari, we've got it, and everything in between that. All right, what know? about beef jerky, because I'm a big beef, beef jerky. Beef jerky, oh, tons of it. We what? Got, got How do you make beef jerky vegan? I don't even believe this. There's a bunch of them. Some of them are made from mushrooms, some of them are made from soy, there's, there's different ones. You guys opened this location here in Santa Monica, and it obviously made sense because Santa Monica is a sustainable city and living a vegan lifestyle is sustainable, yeah? Yes, vegan lifestyle um, does not consume animals. Consuming animals has been shown to contribute to uh, global warming. Um, actually, there was a report that came out some years ago that uh, indicated that, uh, that the animal food industry is actually responsible for more global warming than all transportation combined worldwide. And also you notice this store is a lot smaller than our it's a lot smaller than our original store. Sure. And uh, and just in that it's sort of we're experimenting with this idea of having a smaller store because we can still have everything in that people need to consume in their life for, for food wise in this small footprint and that's more sustainable too. Well this is far from any other store in California. So I think I'm gonna meet up with your partner, take a little tour, see some of the cool things you guys got going. Appreciate the time. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, this is unbelievable. Floor to ceiling. You guys have so much stuff in here. You've got to, stuff people can just grab and go. Yeah. Um, and then this is really cool. I know you wanted to, to uh, yeah. talk about this. So this chicken is chicken free strips. So chicken the, strips, but not But chicken not chicken. Strips. Once again, non GMO soy. Okay. Uh, this is actually a gluten free item. It has the same taste, texture, feel of real chicken. And you don't have the uh, adversities to the environment, um, you, and you don't have the adversities to health when consuming this, and uh, you don't harm any animals in the process. All right, what else? Oh, right here, cheese, right? We, yep, we've got it's uh, cheese. We've got all kinds of cheese. Okay. Uh, this is this in particular is Daya cheese. It's uh, soy-free, gluten-free. Yeah. Um, it melts. It stretches. It's just like cheese. Tastes just like cheese. Yeah. Um, excellent product. Um, excellent alternative to, to any dairy cheese. Okay, check this out, Greg. Uh, not only can humans uh, be vegan, but your pets can be vegan too. They can eat just <laughs> as sustainably as humans can. You have you have vegan dog food, yep. the V-Dog brand. Believe it or not, uh, dogs do phenomenally well on vegan diets. They benefit from the same uh, health, health benefits, uh, lower rates of cancer, uh, lower rates of diabetes when they're on vegan diets. That's amazing. You not only have food, you have treats. From top to bottom, they have everything here you could ever want. Food, dog food, beauty products. Where can folks find you? Give uh, us the website. Okay, yeah, we're, we're at uh, vivalavegangrocery.com. Uh -huh. uh, also, we're located here at 2723 Ocean Park Boulevard in Santa Monica. So easy to find them, right on the corner of 28th and Ocean Park. Guys, they have everything here you could imagine. Even if you don't live a full vegan lifestyle, you want to try something new, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to eat some more of that non-chicken chicken. All right? Isaac, thanks so much hey, for the time. thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Yeah. Wow, who knew one place could have so many vegan items? That's ridiculous. Well, we're back at my house now, and uh, what do you think of my recycled pallet desk? Thanks to my boy Scott for this. Thing is sweet. Anyways, here's a tip for you 
just to help you be a little bit greener. When you're printing, if you need to print two pages, think about printing on both sides instead of using two pieces of paper. But if you don't print on both sides, how about flip it over, now you have some scratch paper for your little kids, or a big kid like me, whatever. Anyways, I promised you some hazardous waste in my house, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. We are in my garage with my buddy James from the Office of Sustainability here in Santa Monica, and I showed him that I have some kind of hazardous materials, hazardous waste, and James said, you better not throw that in the trash can. Why not? Where else am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with it? Well, it's a very good question. Actually, um, just to touch on your first question about why you shouldn't throw it in the trash can, a lot of the materials that you have in your garage actually contain very toxic, flammable, and sometimes dangerous um, chemicals in them that can affect the environment in very negative ways. They can pollute the water, they can pollute the soil, and they can pollute the air. Fortunately, the City of Santa Monica has a Household Hazardous Waste Home Collection Program, and you can call the number right here, below the screen. Right here? Call this number? Yeah. <laughs> When you call the number, that'll route you to a service that's run by Waste Management. Uh, it's a contract with the City of Santa Monica, and it's for a home collection program. They'll send you a kit in the mail in about two to two and a half weeks. You'll take those materials, put them in the kit, and then place them somewhere on your property. Um, either if you're in a building, you have to place them in a common area, or if you're, uh, or if you're a homeowner, a single family homeowner, then you can place them either in the driveway or again in the courtyard area. James, why is this home collection program so important for the city? The home collection program is important because the city and residents no longer have a permanent facility where they can drop off their hazardous materials. So as a convenient solution, we're offering the home collection program free. Uh, it's unlimited uh, as many times as you want throughout the year. It seems like you guys couldn't make it any easier. People come to your home to pick this stuff up. You don't have to go anywhere. Exactly. It's all the exact same materials that we used to accept at the permanent facility, but now you can just call the 1-800 number and they'll come to your house and pick up the exact same stuff for you. All right, speaking of materials, I want to show you some of the stuff I got and uh, maybe you can tell me what I'm supposed to do with it. Great. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look. All right, James, as you can see in my garage, I got all kinds of stuff that should probably not throw into the trash, some antifreeze, uh, paint cans, electronics, light bulbs. I want to get rid of it. So let's do this. You ready? All right, so here is your kit. Okay. This and is what I would get in the mail. That's right. You just right. want to open that up. Open the bag up. And you'll start placing the materials that go inside of the bag. Household hazardous waste. Yeah? We're doing it the right way here in Santa Monica. You're a pretty hazardous guy, actually. You know what? <laughs> hazardous. All right, so this goes in there. OK. You guys so can... just one word of caution. Yeah. Maybe put the bag on the floor. OK. And then I would try to keep a lot of these containers uh, upright so okay. that we don't spill stuff. All right, so the paint can's empty and it's dry, so this just goes in the trash. That's right, that okay. goes in the trash. Cool, into the trash. We've got this other stuff, shellac. Shellac, yep. Goes in here. That's right, that's all dangerous, flammable, hazardous. All right, and then I got all these light bulbs. Light all bulbs. the light bulbs, CFLs, compact fluorescent lights. Okay. However you want to call them. And you go in and uh, spray paint cans, rust -oleum. Yep. That's got to go in there. So I imagine hairspray cans go in there too. Hairspray cans, actually uh, nail polish. What about uh, finishing wax? That, that can also go in there. And this is, I'm always curious about this, <clears throat> batteries. Batteries, are, yes, are, shouldn't go in the garbage either. Uh, we collect almost 26,000 pounds of batteries every year throughout That's the city. We have uh, drop-off programs at most of the grocery stores, at all the schools, uh, some of the businesses have battery tubes where you can drop off your, your batteries, but the batteries can also go inside of this kit. Okay, so I'm gonna drop that in there. And then we also have this stuff. Uh, I, does this go in there as well? Right, so the bigger, bulkier items you actually wanna put outside of the bag. Okay. Yeah. But first so, you wanna zip tie right. your bag. So we're good with this then? Yes. All right, bad boy, bag. give it a little twist. Perfect, and that ensures that nobody will tamper with the bag. Right. I feel like our work here is done. Good work. I think so. All right. All right. Oh, Hi. That was like the old school like, 1980s Damn. time. Look at that. That's how we do things. <laughs> Office of Sustainability. Call them. It's easy. They'll bring you a bag. Your hazardous waste, no moss, like me. All right, I got to grab this paint can because this does not go in there. This goes in the trash. All right, so now I pick it up and, you know, this one's relatively light just because I've used almost all the liquids and everything in here is pretty much used. But if yours is heavy, if your bag's super heavy, you can build your kit outside. So I'm going to take it out, follow me and uh, we're gonna drop it off at the pickup location, making it super easy. Thank you, Santa Monica Office of Sustainability. All right, guys.
Whew, I am glad that hazardous waste is out of here and the city of Santa Monica couldn't have made it any easier. So you got no excuse not to call them and get rid of that hazardous waste the right way, the city of Santa Monica way. Here's another tip for you. Before you go out and you buy some new products, think about hopping on Craigslist, eBay, all kinds of different websites, freecycle.org, because as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. All right, enough of me. Natalie, what are you doing? I haven't seen you all show. I'm sure it's something awesome. I'm here with Frankie, one of the Santa Monica Green residents that we're so lucky to talk to. How are you doing? I'm awesome. How are you? Fabulous. Thank Good. you so much for letting us hang out in your home. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. You. Now, I hear you do so many sustainable things. I mean, you've been organic for 20 years? Over 20 some years. Wow. I'm pushing 30. Okay. Pushing 30. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah. Thank so you. So, what made yeah. you want to live the organic lifestyle? Uh, I think being a farm girl from Minnesota just put me on that natural track first of all okay. um, and then I just was always very sensitive my skin and everything so I look for yeah. more natural more simple products um, and then just uh, really liked the, the products that I found that were organic and they tasted good and then the more I researched I realized they were actually healthy for us and for the planet so so what do you do in your home um, that is eco-friendly everything that comes through my door to eat is organic. The eating part is one thing, your yeah. kitchen is one area, and then it's like, what about cleaning? So then I started looking into what's an alternative cleaning stuff? What's yeah. alternative cleaning? Okay, because you have background, uh, a great background in cleaning, right? I do. I Green have, cleaning, Yeah, of I'm course. the CEO of Zen Costa Green Healthy Housekeeping, and okay. it's eco-friendly cleaning, sustainable. Today we're going to scrub our tub green clean with baking soda, vinegar and organic essential oils. Whoa. Thank yeah. you. That sounds so okay, good, because I always hear you can make your own cleaning products yeah. and that all sounds great. I'm not very good at DIY. Do it yourself, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. Okay. <laughs> not DIY. DIY, I'm a little dyslexic. Um so but this, that sounds super simple. It's easy. And it will work. It'll work. Now what do we start with in here? Huh? Let's dump in some plain old baking soda. Perfect. Yeah, Back to the just, basics. Just the basics. My grandmother used to brush her teeth with this stuff. I'm going to get the essential oils. Let's just put in some eucalyptus. Okay. They okay. kill bacteria. They kill certain viruses. They're really strong. They're really powerful. They really do clean. And then I'm just going to like, you know, rinse down this, the top area. This is our bottle of distilled white vinegar. Got it. I'm just going to spray. Okay. You know, spray it down. Everywhere. We want to get it yeah. covered. We want to cover it. So now we helper. have our little Yumminess. Baking soda concoction. Okay. And we could put it in a little shaker over there. Yeah. And shake it out like a little comet bottle or something like that. Okay. But we'll just throw it in half time. Let's throw it. I throw it in yeah, I want to throw it. I never thought I'd be in the shower <laughs> like this cleaning on TV. This is awesome. Yeah. Those oils though, Frankie, They're you're not so kidding. Nice. They smell so good. Like this is fun. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm cleaning. Yeah. It's a, it's a party. Circles, circles, circles. It is and already. scrubbing and it's it nice. It's really it's well. working. And, and it smells so, so good. Okay, I think we have scrubbed this puppy pretty great and yep. now it's time to rinse. Let's rinse. Look at you. I can see you finally. Yeah. No soap scum. Nope. Well, thank you so much for showing me how to clean. You're welcome. Clean and green. Woo! Yeah! We're clean and green. Uh, uh. We're clean and, and green. green. Oh my Woo. gosh, we didn't even practice this. <laughs> it's like we've had a rehearsal for weeks. I love it. Now um. listen, if people want to get more information about what you do, because you do yeah. so many things, um, where can they go? I know you have a blog and a website. Yeah, tell uh. us. Just tell um, us. Green Mother Zen at okay. blogger.com. Perfect. And uh, zencastagreen.org. Perfect. Lots of information on there. That's and cool. then I'm developing a new website with all these great eco-friendly products called zencastagreen.com. I just want to share all the great stuff yeah. that I'm that I'm so fortunate to have found with everybody that wants to really truly clean green. Yeah, and I'm so glad. We need more people like you to share. You yeah. know, because a lot of people live the eco-friendly lifestyle and organic lifestyle, but they don't little share camera it. shy. Little yeah. camera shy. Not this one, clearly, <laughs> which is good. So yeah. thank you. You're, You're the best. Welcome. I need to go clean my shower right now. Okay. Okay, I'll leave and I'm uh, give you a bottle of something to take with you. Maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. Bye. Wow, Natalie, how cool is that? Frankie really knows how to, I'll say it, be green. See what I did there? Anyways, guys, that's the end of the show. That's all we got for you. Make sure to tune in next time. And also, make sure to be green. It's simple, it's easy. It's all about being green.